This video is a follow-up to my other keyframe structure video. That one went over kind of the basics, and this one will kind of go further into if you want to have separate animations, several different animations, and a few more of the features of the keyframe structure node. So here I'm going to have two different examples, and I'll play through this first one here. And it's just simple animation. It brings in text and a line underneath it, and then a circle. Kind of side, and they're timed out towards the middle, and they go way towards the end. So if I come into Fusion, I see the setup here, and I have two different keyframe structures. And the reason in this example that you need two different ones is because the timing of the animations are different. So basically what a keyframe structure does in its main mode here is it stretches whatever the time is. So if you have a frame 45 and 150, stretches the time in between that and so your animation you'd want to have happening in the beginning and the ending outside of those two different points so that allows the animation to happen and then it freezes that so it doesn't uh, happen for a while until the point you say it uh, should continue again and then it'll pick up where it, uh, the end of it so that way if you have animation of something coming in staying on screen and then going off this is the way you want to do it and if you have another animation that kind of happens at a different point that doesn't have the same timing, you're going to have a separate key stretcher and stretch out the time in between uh, those animation frames. So that works correctly. And you can combine them both and it'll work fine. Again, it's not 100% reliable that I found, but if I stretch this out, take it out to about 10 seconds and then play it through, it'll come in, the ball will animate on, It'll play through and stretch that time out and then it'll go out and fade off. Now some of this jerkiness has to do with the caching, so if you let it sit for a while and play it through a few times in the Fusion tab, it'll run a little smoother. But that's basically when you when you need to use uh, different keyframe structures is if the timing of the animation is different. And in this next example here, If I play it through, see that nothing happens at first, then it'll rotate this rectangle along, and it stops, and nothing happens at the end. So this is kind of the opposite of the other animation, is stuff is happening in the middle and nothing is happening at the ends. So when you use keyframe structure in this instance, you want to set the time for the animation to happen in the middle here, and then you check this box, stretch edges instead, so that way it'll stretch the time before and after, so this still appears in the middle of your clip. So this is two seconds long of animation. So by default with a six second clip, it'll be two seconds of nothing, then this will spin for two seconds, and then it'll be two seconds of nothing. So if I stretch it out to say 10 seconds, they'll still have the two seconds of animation in the middle, but then it'll add like four seconds on either side instead of the default two. And you can see that here. So I can take this, play it through. It's about two seconds of nothing, two seconds of it spinning, and then two seconds of nothing. And I'll play it all the way through. Now let's move play head here, and then I'll stretch this out again to about 10 seconds. And then play it through. And you can see now there's about 4 seconds of nothing, and then 2 seconds of animation, and then about 4 seconds of nothing. So it stretched the ends instead of the middle like it did in the previous example. So this is just a little more about the keyframe stretcher. Again, it doesn't seem to be working 100% of the time. But it does seem it's pretty handy, and uh, I'm sure it'll get better over time as they come out with uh, newer versions, come up to like 16.2, 16.3, and 17. So this was just a part two to my other keyframe structure video, and I hope you found it useful, and I thank you for watching.